Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Chandushri. I am currently pursuing my first year BE in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering from the College Sri Vinteshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. So in this topic, we are going to learn about the topic classification of solid waste. The subject is waste management. And these are the contents which are going we are going to learn in this video. Firstly, solid waste, then importance of classification, then classification of solid waste, definition and types of the source solid based solid waste, and definition and types of the type based solid waste. Firstly, what is solid waste? It is a non-liquid, non-soluble material ranging from municipal garbage to industrial waste that contain complex and sometimes hazard waste. So we know that hazardous means it is effect to the human health. Or it is simply it is also defined as the useless or unwanted or discarded material that is not liquid or gas is called a solid waste. Here you can see the picture of the solid waste. The next is why it is important to study the classification of solid waste. The classification helps you manage risk of harmony, human health and the environmental from the waste. It also helps you meet your obligations under the general environmental duty. The classification process helps you identify your waste. When this solid waste classified based on its source and its types. So here you can see the some types of source based waste and here you can see in the right you can see the types based on the type based waste. The source based waste are as following domestic, industrial, commercial, institutional, construction and demolition then municipal waste and lastly agriculture waste and the second one is type based waste and garbage ashes and residues combustible and non combustible waste bulky waste biodegradable and non biodegradable waste sewage waste and hazardous waste so firstly what is source based solid waste it is the waste which is based on the location at the place where waste is being generated so by seeing the names domestic industrial institutional commercial we can say that it is the place or a location so what is it classified source based class solid waste is classified as a follows domestic or residential waste firstly what is domestic or residential waste they are the waste disposal materials generated by the households. So in the house we are generating some waste. So that are the waste we call it as a domestic or industrial waste. Some examples are given here. The food, food waste, paper, glass. Here you can see the picture of the domestic or residential waste. The next one is industrial waste. So what is industrial waste means? The waste produced by the industrial activity during the manufacturing process. So, in the factories or industries, some materials are uh, generating. You know, so, in the third time, the, in the manufacturing process, they produce some waste. We call it as a industrial waste. So, examples are gasoline, solvents and gravel. So here you can see the picture of the industrial waste. Then commercial waste. Any waste produced by a business including paper, cardboard, cans, retail packaging and food. We call it as a commercial waste. So it is a business waste produced. So example paper, cardboard, cans. So here you can see the picture of the commercial waste.
Next one is institutional waste. So institutional waste means all solid waste emanating from the institutions such as hospitals, nursing, homes, orphanages and public or private schools. So the institution means in the college or the in the hospital or the orphanages some waste are being generated. So they are called as an institutional waste. So we can say example we can say example as the uh, in the hospitals we can take it as a uh, uh, gloves uh, and uh, um, injections materials like that. In the schools we can say that uh, it uh, papers some papers are example. So here you can see the waste. Next one is municipal waste. Municipal solid waste includes the commercial and the domestic waste. Municipal it also includes the commercial and the domestic waste generated in municipal or notified areas in either solid or semi-solid form excluding industrial as well as waste but including treated biomedical waste. So municipal waste it can be either in the form of solid or a semi-solid and it also include the treated biomedical waste. So, we can say it as an example, sanitary waste, inspecting tanks and other waste. So, here you can see the some, exam, some picture of the municipal waste. So, it is a paper, glass, plastic, e-waste, metal, like. So, next one is, again type is type-based waste. So, what is type-based means? The waste which are classified based on their composition or nature, the biodegradable, combustible, these are the natures of the waste. So they are the based on their composition. So firstly, what is combustible and non-combustible waste? The substances that are burnt in the air and tend to produce heat and light are known as the combustible substances. So the substances are burnt in the air and they produce some heat or light. No? They are called as a combustible waste. So here you can see the some example of the combustible waste. So examples are futons, low pillows, wet items. And next one is biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. So what is biodegradable waste means? Such substances which can be easily broken down by the action of bacteria are named as a biodegradable and they can go through the process of bacteria. They can be composable, decomposable. So it, they, we call it as a biodegradable waste. Examples are kitchen waste, food waste and those cannot be decomposable or dissolved by the natural agents. We call it as a biodegradable waste. Example of food waste fibers, glass waste. So you can see the example of biodegradable waste here picture and here you can see the example of non-biodegradable picture. And next came to sewage waste. What is sewage waste? Means waste matter such as feces or dirty water from the homes and the factories which flow through the sewage. So the homes the feces produced is a good to the Sewages. So the sewage waste is that produced by the homes or the fac factories. Factories produce a huge amount of uh, chemicals and uh, they pour to it to the sewage. So it is the sewage waste. So here you can see the picture of the sewage waste. The next one is hazardous waste. What is hazardous means? As I uh, earlier said, hazardous means it is a uh, harmful to the human health. So, a waste with properties that make in dangerous or capable of having a harmful effect on human health or the environment. So, we, have, we can say it as a hazardous waste which harmful to the human health. So, here you can see some harmful waste. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.